guys, so I'm Jacqueline and today I'm covering for TJ because he's out of town. If you don't know me, my YouTube channel is youtube.com slash Jacqueline, so check me out if you like this video. Today I'm going to be talking about a video that's kind of gone viral lately. A 25-year-old abortion counselor actually went through the process of having an abortion and filmed it. I'm not ready to have children. Yeah, I'm going to be having an abortion tomorrow morning. I just want to share my story. I don't feel sad. I feel in awe of the fact that I can make a baby. I can make a life. I knew that what I was going to do was right. Now, if you want my honest opinion, I think the video was kind of shit. I think it was really poorly made. I think the violin music in the background was sappy and unnecessary. I think it was over the top. And unfortunately for this girl, I feel like her heart was in the right place. I feel like she was trying to do the right thing and show women who have already made up their mind to have an abortion that it might not be as terrifying of a process as they once thought. So that's about the only good aspect I can see to this. Now, the reason why I feel a bit sorry for this girl, and she should have known, she had this coming, this video was posted all over Christian websites. So the hate that she's getting is unreal. A lot of people are even speculating that she got pregnant on purpose just so that she could have an abortion and make this video because, of course, her job is an abortion counselor. So a lot of people are throwing that accusation at her. I don't think that she did it on purpose. But I don't like the fact that she presented herself in this video so happy and so uppity because I feel like that's an unrealistic representation of what women have to go through if they choose to have an abortion. It's a traumatic process and a lot of women are really sad and I feel like the way that she presented it almost kind of trivialized what a lot of women have to go through. So like I said, I think it's just an unrealistic presentation of the issue. I feel like she should have shown both sides. I mean, yes, it's good to show that it might not be as bad as some girls are afraid that it could be, but also it's important to show that there are a lot of negative side effects, medically related as well, that you should take into consideration before making such an important decision. Now one thing about this story that I find a little odd is that she got pregnant because she didn't use any birth control. She wasn't taking the pill, she didn't use condoms, she had no type of prevention in place when she had sex. And for someone who's an abortion counselor, I mean, she does this type of thing for a living, you think she should have known better than doing something like that. And I know that she spoke about it and said that everybody makes mistakes, and actually after she had her abortion she did have an IUD or an intrauterine device put in, so I'll give her credit for that. But at the same time, it is very weird that someone who is an abortion counselor, who knows very well the negative side effects of not using protection, did not even use protection herself. Now, a lot of the hate comments that I saw in this video revolved around people saying that pro-choicers are pro-abortion and that you just kill babies and you don't even think about it. And honestly, that's a load of shit. I don't think that you have to be pro-abortion to be pro-choice. I'm pro-choice. And I don't like the idea of abortion. I think it's kind of a sad thing. I don't like the idea of it. It makes me sad. Like, I'm a vegetarian. I don't even eat meat. That's my personal choice, though. I'm not judging anyone out there who doesn't agree with me, which is exactly why I'm pro-choice. My version of what I would personally do doesn't have to match everybody else's version of what they would do, and that's why I don't want to impose legislation on people who have different views than me, and I'm open-minded enough to see that. And one thing that really pisses me off about this is that the people who are the most upset about her getting an abortion are the same people who are like, don't use condoms, don't even masturbate, don't use birth control. They don't want any kind of prevention in place, but then whenever somebody actually gets pregnant, they're all against abortion. Well, if you were really truly, truly against abortion, you would support birth control. Now, whenever I get into this conversation with a lot of women, we have a disagreement on one thing. Now, it's hard because it's a really tricky issue and all I'm trying to say is that it's not black and white. There's a gray area. But a lot of women say that men should not be able to vote on a woman's right to have an abortion. I will say that I think it's unfair that there's an uneven amount of representation in politics where women aren't holding office. They're not in a position right now to sway votes in the way that they should to represent them accurately. So that part sucks. I admit it. That sucks. We should have equal women representation as men. But right now we don't. We've got more men and that just fucking sucks. But that's a reality of what it is right now. My point though is that a lot of women don't even think when they're pregnant that if they choose to have an abortion or don't choose to have an abortion, they don't even think that the man who you know, kind of got her pregnant, they don't even think that he deserves to know about it. They think that men have absolutely no say, not even in legislation, but in their personal life. And I'm just going to call bullshit on that because <laughs> it's ridiculous to say that pregnancy is only a medical condition. 
I agree that it is a medical condition for women because you are physically pregnant. You physically have to go through the time period of being pregnant, then you have to have labor, you have to have the baby. There's a lot of medical things that women do have to go through to have a baby, and I recognize that sometimes it can be life-threatening. Very rarely women are in a situation where their pregnancy is causing them a lot of issues, health issues, and could potentially threaten their life. But the majority of situations have nothing to do with it. So whenever people say, it's a woman's right, which I agree it's a woman's right, but they say it's only a woman's right because it's her personal medical condition. As much as I agree that it's her medical condition, that's not probably the reason why she's having an abortion. She's having an abortion for social reasons, because she doesn't want the responsibility to raise a child. Maybe she's not ready right now to raise a child, but that's fine. Admit that, own that, but also realize that if you choose to have that baby, there's a man that you're probably going to be asking for child support from, and I feel like he deserves to at least be told that you are pregnant. And if you decide to have an abortion, I feel like, you know what, I think honestly it's his right to know that he got you pregnant and that you're terminating it. That's just my belief though, I don't know what you guys think, so let me know what you think about that in the comment section below. I know a lot of women are going to hate me for saying that. I just don't think it's fair that women like chalk it up to just being a medical condition and therefore it's only their business because most of the reasons for having an abortion have nothing to do with medical reasons. It has to do with the social implications and that involves two people, both parents. A lot of gray area. It's not black and white. That's just my two cents on it. It's a hot topic right now. So I wanted to present this video to you guys because I'm not sure how many videos TJ has done on abortion because he's not a woman and I'm sure he knows all the people would attack him for doing that. So I figured this would be something kind of different to bring to this channel on my channel. Normally I do things that are more related to religion and the social issues of religion and politics and everything that goes along with it. So if you want to check out my channel, like I said, youtube.com slash Jacqueline. I think there should be a link to my channel in the description below. So anyways, I hope you guys like this video. Comment, like, share it everywhere, and hopefully I will see you on my channel. Bye!